Hello? Uh, hello, this is Caleb calling about the house you wanted to sell. Hi, Caleb. What can I tell you about it? Uh, I, you can tell me... Hang on a second while I try to find which monitor I put the notes on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Your, name's Tra your name's Tracy, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so they told me you're wanting to sell. You've got a, a hard and fast price, which I'm fine with. They made a cash offer that doesn't work, and that's the whole reason I'm on the phone because uh, they, they're not allowed to pay more than X dollars cash, and I am if it's not cash. So. All right. You know, you want to sell, <clears throat> you want to sell, and I want to buy, and I want to find a way to do that. So if you kind of just give me some, some heads up into what the situation is, what you're trying to do, what your timeline is, I can, I can probably build a solution that, that, is attractive. All right. Well, like I told, um, I forget her name that I talked with. I'm only 135, and I'm still taking about a fifty thousand dollar loss. Um. The outside has been totally redone. There's a new roof on the garage and the house, new gutters, new siding. There's a built-on um, room to the side that's got new siding, new paint, new windows, new doors, new security lighting. And are you familiar with the um, column fence, the brick column fences with the wrought iron in between? Yeah. And it has that. It's a security fence, I guess. Um, mailbox is in the column, too. Um, so everything outside that you could possibly think of, there's a built um, enclosed porch. It's got a ceiling fan and the lights. So you can sit out there and enjoy the hot weather or freeze to death either way. Um, sure. <laughs> so, and it's on a concrete foundation, and it's a good foundation. It's not cracked anywhere. There's no flooring in there, so I, you know, kind of looked at that. I put a new fuse box in, and some new wires. Um, so that's the things that I've done. Um, there still is drywall and stuff up, but I was going to tear it all down and just re-drywall everything and make it an open concept with another bathroom, maybe a mud room. Um, but my plans have changed. I had um, kidney cancer, so I had to have a kidney removed on the 20th of last month. And I'm yeah. going to be going through some treatment for a while. So I, I think this project has come to a close for me. Okay, so it's mid it's mid project then. The inside still needs work? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Well, uh, you know, if if you don't need to lose money, let's find a way to not do that. I, I definitely – I'm in the middle of a flip myself, and I'm stalling on it in Kansas City, and I, <laughs> I just got to pay to get it yeah. done, you know? Yeah. So, okay. You're at... I was like, I, get, I have plenty of people who are interested. Just nobody wants to get to that. You know, I say 135, I take 130. But nobody wants to get to that. And with all my medical bills and stuff pouring in, you know, I just need that little bit of money to keep me going. Um, okay. That, that's kind of really where I'm at. So, how did you end up acquiring the property? Is there a loan or anything like that? What's like, what's the story yeah, there? I own it. I own it free and clear. Um, I think it's been in my family for about, oh, let's see, uh, at least 20 years, maybe 25. My aunt, um, she was living on her own, and she went into a nursing home, and I bought the house from her. And um, she was in the nursing home, and she dies of COVID. So. Oh. She didn't get to. She didn't get to enjoy anything very long. Yeah. Um, well, the outside looks beautiful from like the the Zillow photo here. So I mean, I, yeah, it kind of looks I, like it's I, I in really progress. Did, there. I did a lot of work on the outside of that house. I yeah. mean, um, I even had to replace the roof was leaking, um, and she just had somebody come and. They just kept patching it over, patching it over. I think there was like 10 layers of roofing on top of that house. Holy cow. Or it felt like it when we were tearing it off. I was like, oh, my God, is it ever going to stop? Yeah. But uh, I had to replace the, um, oh, what is it called, the board? And I forget right now. But the decking, the sheathing? Yeah, all of that's been replaced. Um, wow. It was just it was rotted. So. Um, oh, yeah, I, I just found some older older pictures of it, yeah. You've done you've done great you work. You can tell the difference. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. 
um, I wanted to see it through because before that it was my grandma's house. And yeah. I just, I, I can't now. I just, my health is just not really great at this time. So. Wow. Well, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> what would you what would you like to see happen here? What does success look like to you? Assuming that I can't bring one hundred and thirty five thousand dollars cash, I do have plenty of other options. But I'd like to understand what what it is you'd like to see happen, so that I can kind of build an uh, idea. You know, I would just like to sell it and be done with the project. Okay. That, you know, and I would like for somebody to continue and. Yeah. I'd What's it going to be worth great. when it's done? Um, well, I think it's going to be worth about 235, maybe 250 because it just keeps going up because they're coming in and they're just keep redoing all these houses. And like I said, I've got like 40 people on my heels every other day. Hey, how much do you want for this house? And I started out before I even touched any of it after I bought it. They were like, oh, well, we'll give you 15,000. And then it went up to, oh, we'll give you 26. Then it went up, oh, we'll give you 50. And then it went, oh, we'll give you 80. <laughs> and now it's, oh, we'll give you 100. And just this year alone, it went up 18% um, yeah. per Zillow, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, I own it. I, you know, the only thing I have to do is pay taxes on it. It's just sitting there. It's not really bothering me other than I just want it completed or I just want it off my hands. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm doing some comparative analysis here to see if I can kind of validate. But, yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Um how much more work needs done to the inside then? Um, well, what I was going to do, because I had to, like <coughs> I said, I tore into the ceiling to try to find out um, where it was leaking at. So the ceiling's either going to have to be patched, but I would say replace it now to replace all the drywall in the house. Mm. Um, and then the furnace, I believe the furnace is as old as the house. So I would say it would need a furnace and a hot water heater, central air, um, you know, just basically inside is going to, you know, be a shell for somebody to go in and complete. Other than the fuse box, um, the windows, doors, things like that. The, the real expensive crap, <laughs> it's been done. Wow. How, so how much, what if, um, so here's something I'm talking about with somebody else right now. He, he was, he's got too many projects. He's an electrician. And he agreed to do the wiring in this house if I could get everything else done. I said, so if I can bring a rehab crew and the rehab budget to get this done, can we just do like a joint venture and then sell it on the market and split some profits? Like you want it like he he's like, I want at least 60K. I said, OK, that's my starting point. And I said, my team wants at least 25K profit. So after your 60K and after expenses of whatever they happen to be, I haven't done the math yet. Uh, and after my 25k profit, anything on top of that we split. How's that sound? And he's like, "Let's do it." So he's yeah, he's going to be sending me pictures. Is that something you'd you'd like to hear more about or no? Well, you know, if you do that, then it's going to take more time and more time. And I'm going to be out of work for the next six months at least. They said. So. What if we started making payments to you? In the meantime. Yeah, I'm not sure. I would okay. have to, you know, think about it. I mean, that's not yeah. off my, you know, that's not off my plate. Um, but that's something that I need to think about and, you know, probably see some comparisons. I know right there on that street, there's not very many good comparisons. But um, I know across the street, they just keep getting closer to my house because I see it every day. Um, so, I mean, I know it's going to go up in value. It might not be this year, well, next year, but it's going to go up. So... And this is a two bed. I'm sorry. This is a two bed or third three bed. It's three bedrooms, one bath. It's got a bonus room, a laundry room, and a utility room. And the bonus room is like the whole width of the side of the house. Which yeah. I thought about you know putting a master bath onto the master bedroom, making a mud room, laundry room. Um. But you know, those are my big dreams. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing some some real cute comps in the upper 100s. I got one in the 200s right now. I I would need some validation in in into the uh, 200s range for for this, but yeah. um, it, it doesn't it doesn't yeah. look like a, a bad idea, depending upon how much yeah. work is left. 
Yeah, and that house has a bonus because it's a corner lot. It has off street parking True. and a two and a half car garage. Oh yeah, okay. I see that. Looking at the map now. And none of the other houses offer that. Okay. And I'm thinking, wow. Well, somebody was smart and did that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do you have? Is there any way I can get a bunch of photos? Um, I just took a bunch of photos so I can send you what I took today of the inside and outside. That would be great. I'll I'll text you my email and you can shoot me a, a link to an album or something like that. Okay. That'll work. And then I'll I'll get with my my rehab guys and see if we can figure out what how much rehab we think that is. And then, um, so then as far as what sort of purchase options I have here, um, you're still relatively open minded it sounds. But if if I, so. Yeah, what are my options? You you tell me what 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 options I have with with creative finance here. I'm you know I'm open to anything you know. Um, I just like I said I'm going to be out of work for the next six months. Right. And uh, I have another house that I have to pay a mortgage on. Yep. Well, <laughs> so then have... what's what's the monthly uh, what what's your monthly need at that? Like let's say that we agree on this and we decide to close on December fifteenth for some reason. Starting December fifteenth, you you don't have to work and you're going to receive monthly payments to cover all your expenses, living expenses. What's that look like for me? Um, my monthly expenses are around five thousand dollars a month. Okay. And that's because I got a child that goes to um, Lutheran High School, and I have to pay his tuition. And Ooh, yeah. My utility bills and all yeah. that good stuff. Okay. I don't know why I pay on insurance because it doesn't can't, it doesn't um, cover cancer coverage. So. Well, that's. I don't know why I pay on that. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> that is very stupid. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay. so that's about what I look at every month. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's do pictures. I'll do some more analysis, and I'll come back to you um, with uh, a couple ideas on on maybe just different different ideas on how we can buy. Okay, that sounds great. What's your actual timeline here? Like, do you have a like a drop dead date you need to do something by? No. Oh no no no. Okay. No. The sooner the better, I think. <laughs> Understood. Yep, I I get it. Okay. All right. I'll text you my email address and we'll go from there. So thank you for your time today. All right. Thank you. Bye. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, we're not paying 5000 a month, but I don't know. I really like the Novation idea. I think we could get a crew in there. I think she's overestimating what I'm looking at here, it says she's overestimating on the uh, ARV. This is not too, what did she say, 235 to 250? Not so far. I'll have to do more research. Although there is one at $281,000, a three-bed, two-bath, real cute. How far away was that? Looking at prop stream here, that's number six. Oh, that's on the other side. No, it's a different neighborhood. That's not a comp. Yeah, the comps I have are in the mid to upper 100s, and if she wants 135 already and it still needs anything substantial on the inside, it's it's not going to work out. That said, if it's livable and just needs some patches and we could do like a mortgage wrap or something, like if she sell her finances it to us, then she's going to want i already know if she needs $5,000 a month with no job then she's going to want $30,000 down <clears throat> cuz she's going to have no job for 6 months or whatever that number is so that's probably her magic number as far as down payment goes 30 to $35,000 and after that we could do seller finance um, yeah so that's probably the direction I'll go